any street song, any street song, fuck up in a rinse and rinse. This nightclub is called Society. It's logo, a machine. What to expect? A state-of-the-art sound system, a state-of-the-art lighting system. This is a venue that was specifically built for nightlife. How you built the club? Well, we, uh, we built it in conjunction with uh, a carpenter, uh, a, a builder, who's our part, our main investor. The space was dormant, it didn't work. It was a, a bar, restaurant. It's been around for a long time. It used to be a really great happy hour. Um, so when we came in, we were like, listen, let's build this out. You know, and uh, the first original name was supposed to be something else, but it didn't work out because it was a failed place in New York City and we didn't want to use something that failed. So we were thinking about what people like and how they, you know, how they perceive today's, uh, you know, way of life. And we just came up with society, which is something that like, you know, transcends to everything, music, fashion, you know, social media, uh, art, lighting, music, like everything, DJs, talent, rap, hip hop. And that's where we came up with society. So take me through the layout of the club. I know you designed this club, correct? Yeah, we designed it with, a, with, a, with, our, with our main guy. He, he pretty much helped a lot too. The design and the layout is basically made up of um, a nightlife idea versus, let's just say it's a promoter type um, vision, you know, with a builder's eye. That's the best way to say it. So, you know, you build the stuff based off of what you want to do when you're in the club. When you come to the club, you want to sit on the couch, you want to see the DJ, you want to hear the music perfectly, you want to dance, but you also want to be a part of everything. Um, when you lay this out, you see that everybody has a part of the whole club. Everybody can see everything. Uh, nothing is, is hidden from, from one eye. Is there some artist that you have like a, a, an actual connection with, like, oh, I need this artist on the wall specifically? Not really. What we did is we wanted to be broad. Like the Post Malone, we definitely felt like it was something that is an icon right now. I can't like describe on what I think what he would be versus other people in here. Since Marshmallow is the hat, you know, of course, Drake. More celebrity. These guys are celebrities. They're not more, they're not just like artists. So we want to like put that on the wall. Of course, Avicii, touchdown, the DJ driven stuff. Um, you know, Rihanna, we had to get a mix of women who were in there. Of course, Beyonce and Jay Z. I think the cafe in the, front, in the beginning is, is just something that uh, appeals to everybody in the area. Um, morning until tonight. I think also that when you open up most places, people don't realize that you need to have food to open them. That they don't want to just do a, a nightclub. They have to have food incorporated for liquor licenses. It also gives the town a little bit of breathing room to feel like, okay, they're doing stuff for the community as well as nightlife. I think the type of menu it's going to be is, is more like hummus, you know, chips, tapas menu type stuff, nothing crazy. No um, pizza. Yeah, pizza's gonna be in the back. Uh, we're gonna do pizza, but more or less for the cafe early in the day into the happy hour, stuff like that. Uh, pizza burgers, you know, easy stuff. We're not gonna try to like take over the market by doing great sick food. That's not really our objective. Talking about bottle clients, when they come in here, what are they gonna, what, what do they expect? I mean, we're gonna, the bottle clients are gonna have to expect more or less like the Dada Life's uh, you know, the, the high-end DJ type thing. We're gonna go house DJ driven. Uh, the Beasts, the hip hop artist, Latin vibe on Fridays probably. Uh, Wednesday night we're gonna attack like younger demographic, try to do something cool for the, 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 for the town. It's gonna be more or less, you know, wine and, and paint parties on Mondays, Tuesdays, try to get them involved here. That's the direction we want to go as far as VIP and, and, and people coming here. We don't want to like hold the stigma as just, you know, of scale. We want to try to diversify. I think the DJs can expect that this, and entertainers, that this is probably a one of a kind place that hasn't been around in a long time. I think the system is pioneered. It's their flagship. It's one of the top sound systems you could ever find. The lighting is is projected right over all the sound and DJ. They're gonna be a part of the system the whole time. The DJ booth is built for a DJ. The room is built for artists and DJs. The sound, I can't keep going over the sound. The sound is gonna be, it's so crystal clear. Do you intend to be a seven day venue? We intend to be a seven day venue, yes. Do we intend 
to do the nightlife on Friday, Saturday with a Sunday brunch type incorporation? Yes. You've been in the game for, I'd say, around 15 years. 10. 10, 10 years? It's going on 11. Is this, is this the, the thing you're most proud about so far? No. <laughs> no, not at all. It's not the thing I'm proud about. No, I'm proud about it. I'm more proud about all the guys that worked with me and how far they've gone. That's the, my most pride possession. Not this. This is just another step in the right direction. But no, my guys. I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of all the people I work with.